to open line here at 106.7 KROQ. All right, we are together again. Happy to be so here on a, on a hot morning. Anyway, I'd like to say good morning to Commander Todd Rogers. Hello. How good are morning. You? Thanks for having me. You are a 26-year veteran of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. Been here before? You, you know the drill? I have, and I appreciate you inviting me back. You're assigned to the Field Operations Region 2, where you oversee Avalon. Now, there's an assignment. Uh, Compton, well, that is a little bit different of assignment there. Um, Century, South LA, and West Hollywood stations. Commander Rogers here. Uh, he's been involved in law enforcement for a while. His career began in 1985 when he attended the Sheriff's Training Academy. Um, and he has been uh, working at the Carson Station as a deputy, sergeant, lieutenant, and captain. Previously assigned to Pico Rivera Station, Lomita, Training Bureau, the Cops Bureau, the Regional Community Policing Institute, and several custody assignments. Those must have been interesting. Yeah, they were indeed. Every assignment was very interesting. Custody assignment is when they are the jailer. They keep the uh, inmates in line, and that's we'll talk about that, but that's one of the big jobs of the sheriff's department. It's very different from your local police department. The sheriff has added responsibilities that you may not be aware of. Crime Stoppers. Tell me a little bit about Crime Stoppers. Well, Crime Stoppers is something that's very near and dear to me. Uh, when I got promoted to commander, it was a project that the sheriff gave me to try to uh, create this program and expand it countywide. And, and basically what it is is a, an anonymous crime tip reporting system. It's been around for over 30 years, around 30 years, around the um, country. And for some reason, the L.A. region was really late in, in adopting it. Uh, but it's, as I said, an anonymous crime tip reporting system that allows people to give crime information to law enforcement in many different ways uh, via telephone, uh, email, text messaging, and there's even mobile phone applications for it now. And what's really unique about the system is that we use uh, third-party software, which has encryption technology. That means when we get the tips from the tipsters, there's no way we can trace it. And there's no way we can identify uh, who the tipster is unless they want to tell us who they are. And that helps, uh, you know, if we get subpoenas for tip records or whatever, we, we, we can't produce them because they don't exist. Uh, so it's very secure that way. Uh, and... We launched this in, in Los Angeles County in 2009, and since then, the, the growth has been exponential. Uh, we have 44 of the 47 municipal agencies within the county are members of, of Crime Stoppers now. And if you don't mind me going over a few st statistics. Sure, and, please do. Uh, since inception, uh, we've received over 17,000 tips, and as a result of those tips, made over uh, 900 arrests, 939 to be exact. Uh, we've recovered over $238,000 in stolen property and seized about $3.7 million in drugs. Uh, and what's really heartening for me is it keeps getting better and better. Uh, as an example, just last month we had our best month ever with 792 tips, 72 arrests, uh, $7,800 in property recovered, and almost $18,000 in drug seized. Uh, we've solved... 11 homicides. Uh, we have a TV show on uh, locally, KCAL Channel 9, on Saturdays at 11.30 p.m. Uh, called Crime Stoppers Case Files. It, it uh, profiles unsolved cases. Uh, and, and something that, that I'm also very excited about is we just forged a partnership with uh, several corporate brand owners to deal with this issue of piracy and counterfeiting. And I didn't realize that that was a, that's an $8 billion a year problem for the state of California in terms of lost revenue. Uh, and I've also found out that a lot of these pirated and counterfeit products that are flooding the market are actually dangerous to consumers. You know, people think they're getting a great deal on, uh -huh. on some drugs or cigarettes or whatever the issue might be, but it actually contains very dangerous uh, uh, chemicals and, and things that could do them a lot of harm. Uh, and I've also been educated that uh, the people doing this type of crime uh, are gang members, organized criminals, and and some of these folks are even supporting terrorism, according to uh, former Homeland S uh, Security Secretary Tom Ridge. So uh, lots of things are going on with Crime Stoppers, and, 
and there are numerous success stories in terms of tips that have led to arrests, and, and it's something that we just really want to promote um, within the county for people to use if they, don't, if they want to remain anonymous uh, and provide critical crime information to, to law enforcement. This is a great way to do it. Great. Sounds interesting. How do people get more information? Uh, I'd ask them to go to www.lacrimestoppers.org, and all the information I talked about is accessible there. Uh, and all the instructions about how to to give us tips. Sounds really good. Anything in closing that we missed this morning? No. I would just encourage people to uh, stay alert and do what they can to prevent themselves from being victims. And if they need information about crime prevention, contact their local sheriff's station or police department, and and they'll be there to help them. Sheriffs are your friends. Yes, we are. Remember that. All right, K-Rock music in front of us.